So how much you got a diameter for last class problem? Am I audible? Am I audible or not? Yes, sir. Audible, sir. Yes, sir. You got a diameter. I suggested you to calculate the diameter. Okay. So how much you got? By trial and errors, you need to calculate the diameter. So much you got. Have you solved this equation? Are the screens visible or not? No, sir. Screen is not visible, sir. Okay, have yes, you solved sir. this equation? F is what? It's a sigma A by, sorry, sigma A equal to F by A. Sigma A is allowable stress. Okay. So area is what? Uh, cross section area of the bolt at core diameter. Okay. At core diameter. Okay. So now if you substitute uh, the value, okay. So sigma A is, I think, uh, they are given. Hundred megapascal. Okay. So they are given it is hundred megapascal. Right? So now someone calculate and give the answer. No, this is hundred. Okay. Into pi by four. T square equal to what f okay so let us substitute it here 100 divided by 4 into pi into t square equal to 0.5 into 4.18 into 10 to the power of 3 plus 1753.75 dc so now you simplify this equation and calculate value of DC. So 23.46. 23.46. Okay. Hey, everyone got answer? Everyone got answer? Everyone got answer or yes sir no? Hey, hello, Madhi, there is na.
So answer is uh, 23.44 is a core diameter. Okay. Answer is 23.44 core diameter. Okay. Now core diameter of a bolt. So DC equal to 23.46 mm. Okay. Now you need to select the standard size. Now we need to select standard size. So for selection, standard size, okay. Now go to data and book. Now core diameter is how much? It is a 23.46. Now Likoto, they are given measure diameter, pitch diameter, right? Now one thing is that uh, you can just divide by 0 0.8, okay? Now let us divide here, the standard size. Now let us divide, okay? So nominal diameter. Now let us calculate roughly nominal diameter. How much will get? DC divided by. Now you need to go for the equation. How much you took at the time of uh, FI? Okay. So for calculation of FI, how much you took? You took it as a 0.8. Okay. So here you took it as a 0.8. Now you go for 0.8 here. Okay. DC divided by 0.8. 23.46 divided by 0.8. How much you got? 23.46 yes, divided by 0.8. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38. 29.38
after 432 you have only 459 mm square as a cross sectional area now 459 mm square so the standard references here which has to be of 3 mm here which has to be of 3 mm then this is what a 25 okay now how it has been represented in uh, design or in uh, manufacturing processing so it is going to be represented as so standard size bolt is m27 into 3 okay this is what a reference we are going to suggest this as a m27 into 3 as the standard bolt size the okay? so next note down a cover plate is bolted a cover plate is bolted on to the flanged end on to the flanged end of a pressure vessel through six bolts through six bolts okay. full point the inner diameter of the pressure vessel is of the pressure vessel is 200 mm and is subjected to and is subjected to an internal pressure of internal pressure of 10 mega pascal full point selecting carbon steel C40 sigma y equal to 328.6 mega pascal as the material for the bolt determine the size of the bolts determine the size of the bolts considering considering initial tension for the following cases So first case metal to metal joints metal to metal joints second case a copper gasket a copper gasket so notify all given datas 
you notify all given data okay. so now can you try yourself first you take a 5 minutes time you just calculate yourself first they have given a two cases here one case it has to be of metal to con metal contact okay next second case it has to be a copper gasket so can someone suggest how we can solve this one now you need to calculate uh, separately because they have given a two conditions because they have a given a two conditions right so that's what first condition if it has been used as a metal to metal contact so what is the size of the bolt required okay and second case so if you are going to use a gasket between the metals or the cylinder and a cover plate what is the size of the bolt required so can you try yourself will you solve or shall i go for a solution you give me answer sir go for it okay in not in first case first to calculate what is the allowable stress first to calculate what is the allowable stress okay so now let us calculate first allowable stress here okay. now we'll go for calculation of allowable stress so better you know don't first give one data properly if you know don't give one data properly it's going to give the idea so what things you need to find out okay now number of bolts here n equal to 6 okay now inner diameter of cylinder okay this is what a dc 200 mm okay so now intensity of pressure intensity of pressure it is 10 mega pascal okay then allowable stress so they have given directly the allowable stress or real stress they have not given the working stress okay sigma y they have given okay so now sigma y is yield stress they are given this is 328.6 mega pascal okay next uh, as they are not specified factor of safety assume factor of safety as 3 assume factor of safety as f o s equal to 3 now I'll go for solution. So first, we calculate uh, the allowable or design stress. Allowable or design stress. Okay. So sigma a equal to sigma y divided by f o s. Okay. Sigma y is three twenty eight point six divided by three. Now someone give the answer. One zero nine point five. One zero nine point five three. Okay, five three megapascal. Now this is what allowable stress. One not nine point five. Let it be. Let us go for one not nine. Okay. Let us go for one not nine. Uh, 
0.33 or 0.4 you will get okay let us go for 109.53 megapascal so what is the first condition here okay. so the first condition will go for uh, metal to metal contact okay so now diameter of bolt okay so first case for metal to metal contact right now we'll calculate uh, the total axial force on the bolts on the bolts because of uh, fluid pressure because of fluid pressure now let us go for f equal to p into pi by 4 dc d square okay a dc means uh, uh, what a noted notation dc it's a 200 in the diameter of the cylinder okay now i calculate so intensity of a cylinder, uh, total force exerted or uh, the total axial force on the bolts because of fluid pressure so now it has been 10 mega pascal here so now dc is 200 square whether how much it is someone calculate 10 into pi into 100 square other 3.142 into 10 to power 5 newton is it right yes sir okay now load shared by each bolt here load shared by each bolt let us go for fb equal to f divided by n 3.142 into 10 to the power of 5 divided by 6 How much it is? I don't know. Fifty-two point three six. Fifty-two point three six into six to ten to the power of three. Okay. Now, now this is what uh, the load, axial load on the board because of the fluid pressure. Okay. So, what is the total load acting on the board? initial they have suggested you need to consider the initial tensions also okay you need to consider initial tensions also okay so the total load or the total force okay or load on bolt okay so i refer design data handbook you notify equation number so let us go for ft equal to so K into FB, now in this case it is FA here, plus FI. So we'll go for equation number, we'll go for equation number. Okay, equation number 9.2a. Equation number 9.2a. Okay, now. So let us go for constant k. Refer table number 9.1. Okay, so the value of constant k equal to 0 because it is what metal to metal contact metal to metal contact okay so let us look out the table here okay 
right table number 9.1 so if it is metal to metal contact then k has to be g right next the initial tension for metal to metal contact So refer to design data and book. Note down equation. This is what? Okay. So Ft equal to or Fi equal to 2805D. Right? Now let us substitute all values. Let us substitute all values. Okay. So Ft equal to K is 0. Fa is 52.36 into 10 to the power of 6. Sorry, 10 to the power of 3. Plus Fi is 2805. Okay. Now you should get in a DC here. You should get a DC. So now DC divided by 0.8. Okay. Now you calculate what is the value of FT here. Now this term will 0. You are going to get a 2805 into DC divided by 0.8. Okay. DC divided by 0.8. Right. Now where to equate this one? So you need to equate this one for the allowable strength of a bolt material. Now <clears throat> how much you got here? Let us go for detail. Ft equal to 2805 divided by 0.8 dc. So what one equation? This is what one equation, right? Now, the maximum load carrying capacity of a bolt of a bolt by considering its allowable. stress okay now this is what f equal to sigma a this is square now sigma a already calculated 109.53 so pi by 4 dc square is unknown okay now let us equate equation 1 and 2 equate equation 1 and 2. So now 2805 divided by 0 0.8 dc equal to okay. So 109.53 into 5 by 4 into dc square. Now dc equal to 2805 into 4 okay divided by 0.8109.53 into 5. How much you got?
Pardon? 40.75 mm. 14, 1, 4 or 4, 1? 40, 40 points. Okay, 40 points. Now you need to calculate standard diameter. Now for standard diameter, you better adopt. So D equal to DC by 0 0.8, 40.70 divided by 0 0.8. Fifty point nine four mm. How much? Fifty point nine four mm. Now you need to check it. Okay. So fifty point nine four mm is not possible. So you may get uh, fifty two mm. So you'll get a 52 mm. Okay. Again, you can calculate based on cross sectional area also. Again, you can calculate based on cross sectional area. So if you go on for cross sectional area, you are going to get a standard dimension. That is what uh, the nominal diameter, sorry, nominal diameter as well as pitch. Nominal diameter as well as pitch. Okay. You are going to get it. Now this one is clear. Metal to metal contact. The second is what uh, the use of gasket. So second case, the copper gasket. Okay. So now in this case, you have to consider K equal to 0 0.5. K equal to 0 0.5. Now what is the condition here? So the total force, Ft equal to K into Fa plus Fi. Okay. F is, uh, already I calculated Fa. It is FA is how much? Uh, 52 point 36 into 10 to power of 3. Okay. So now in this case, FI is to be reduced to half. FI is reduced to be half. That is what? FI equal to so 1403 T. Right? Because gasket. Because of gasket. Okay. So now we will substitute it here. 1403 into DC divided by 0 0.8. Now, this is what EFT, right? Now, we calculate how much you are going to get 0 0.5 means 26.18 into 10 to the power of 3 plus 1403 DC divided by 0 0.8. Okay. Next, FT is already uh, calculated. That is what? 109.53 into pi by 4 dc square. Let us equate 109.53 okay, into pi by 4 dc square equal to 26.18 into 10 to the power of 3. We are going to get some value. Now we calculate for dc. Someone give answer. Seventeen point five four. 
वन सेवन वन फाइव फोर डी सी इक्वल Anybody got a different answer? Answer is change here. Thirty point six or thirty point three. All right, answer. You just cross verify. Yes, yes. So diameter D equal to thirty six mm. You check it. Our core diameter DC equal to. Oh, now we have gone for one not nine. Okay, let us calculate. I think you won't get too much difference here. You should get more than thirty six. Because you considered higher factor of safety. You considered higher factor of safety. Is there anybody got answer? You should go to more than thirty six mm as the normal diameter. Am I audible or not? Hello. Yes, sir. The calculate mod ratio is there. Sir, DC equal to thirty three, thirty point three nine, sir. Okay, thirty point three nine mm is the correct. Okay. So now D equal to thirty point three nine. Divided by point eight. Thirty seven point eight. Thirty seven point eight. You go for standard diameter. Okay. So standard diameter again. You refer data and book. Now thirty point. Now you have thirty nine here. Okay. Then suggest D equal to thirty nine mm. So my suggestion is you calculate cross sectional area. Okay, so tensile cross-sectional area. Then, based on that one, you suggest standard diameter or standard dimensions, right? So I think uh, problems are sufficient over this uh, initial tensions.
we just go through solved problems from jbk das as well as uh, the krishna rao okay so tomorrow we'll start uh, the problems on eccentric loaded uh, bolted joints okay eccentric loaded bolted joints so just give the attendance